Yeah, and, and point taken about the, the number of generations needed to arrive at the, the productive broodstock. So, um, yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave it at that, if it's okay. We will have group work at the end, and we can, we can discuss more at, the, at that point. So, so Melenzo just talked about the outcome of our project that's focused on, on inputs, right? Feed and, and seed. So next, we have two outputs. The next outcome is focused on production, so production system. And it says the, the objective, or the, the result we were aiming for is that grow up producers adopt modernized procedures and use modern infrastructure. And this, we are expect, we have two different outputs, and each one of these outputs comes with a number of activities. So the first one is on supporting modern fish cl clusters. Modern fish yeah, clusters will be designed and investment ready for improved um, functionality, essentially, along a whole number of lines. And the different things that we're considering when we look at what should be, what, what is the upgrade that a modern cluster has on top of an existing cluster has to do with ecology, use of standards, different marketing practices, safety nets for the farmers that are working there, better infrastructure, different input access. And so basically these clusters would be designed, ready for investment, and demonstration clusters implemented. Um, and similar approach for the water-based systems that could also be thought of eventually as clusters um, with developing um, investment opportunities and having some, some, some demonstration some demonstration areas in, in place. Um, yeah. Okay, so basically if we look at the activities, uh, there's a number of activities that we would go through in developing the clusters. So first we would do a national zoning study um, to identify the areas, areas of highest uh, suitability for, for catfish production. So to analyze the entire country, you know, where are the best areas where, where you know, a, a cluster can be the most successful based on natural resource availability and constraints, but also population centers, that sort of thing. And then the second activity would be to design the ideal cluster, essentially. So this is based on creating engineering designs. It would include costing for capital development, and it would take into consideration things like, from an ecological perspective, effluent treatment, which we don't see in, in many of the clusters, you know, um, best practices, but you know, designated areas for for production, for retail, possibly retail for wholesaling, um, a, a processing facility also, so that in case of market challenges, processors can also pro uh, producers can process their fish. So certain infrastructure um, basically would be designed, and then based on that infrastructure and the areas of the clusters, we would develop business models. So, and this is a business model of like the, how the ideal cluster would work. So we would know, you know, how, what is, you know, with the ideal cluster, there's some higher costs to operate there, but also higher revenue. So all that would be forecasted, and we'd understand like what would the financial operations of the cluster entail, and what would be the expected returns of the farmers operating there. Um, and then we would, so you know, activity four clusters would be selected to become demonstration sites to some kind of competitive application process. So there might be a lot of clusters that would be interested in partnering with Fish for ACP um, to, to become a demonstration cluster of these sort of improved practices. So there'd be some kind of selection methodology implemented to select the cluster to, to work with. Um, and really the number of clusters would depend on the budget and other factors, um, but maybe there's one or three say clusters. Um, and then so the next activity would be based on those that were selected to analyze land tenure issues to make sure that there's not going to be any barriers to investment. So is there a long-term lease on the land or is there ownership of the land? Um, and then activity 2.1.6 is to business models and cluster designs are adapted to the selected clusters through a participative process and cluster-specific investment plans are developed with cluster leaders. So that's to take the business models and designs that were designed earlier and sit down with the leadership of the cluster and really think through what do they want, what, what, um, what are their interests, what are their needs at that cluster, and, and, and adapt all the planning really to, to the local conditions and to what people want, and then to develop an investment
investment plan to bring in that kind of investment because there's simply not the budget in the project to, for for fish for ACP to do all this implementation. But there, but together we can develop an investment plan that involves some kind of co-financing of fish for ACP, some kind of um, investment from the members from the cooperative. It could involve uh, a part loan from national financial institutions. It could involve loans or grants from international financial institutions like EFAD or, or, or uh, African Development Bank that we can create connections. So basically we develop an investment plan and then go ahead and implement that. Perhaps there's some kind of grant aspect as well. So then, in a sense, at that point, the implementation of the activity is sort of turned over to the leadership of the cluster, but with FISH for ACP support to implement that investment plan. And we're going along the way making it, helping with the, the linkages and generating the, the investments. 